We got our Harvest Right freeze dryer this week. We got a large, given that we have a very large family. Uh, most of the videos that we've seen on YouTube have been around uh, mediums. That seems to be the most popular one out there. Uh, the rep I talked to at Harvest Right said they do sell mainly mediums, uh, but they recommended a large if you have a really large family and are going to be doing a lot of garden, garden preserving, which uh, we checked both those boxes, so we figured if we're going to invest, we're going to go ahead and invest in a big one. Um, we've only done one load in it so far. This is our second batch, and we are doing duck eggs. One thing we figured out when we did our first uh, batch, which was some turkey broth from uh, a turkey we butchered uh, over the Christmas holiday, was that this uh, the, set, the tray holders actually can go in at any angle. So today I brought out a little level to put in here to make sure that they're in there just so. Okay, and I've got it leveled front to back. The instructions say to have the front end of the freeze dryer just slightly higher than the back end because there's a drain hole in the back and it, you want the liquid as uh, things melt, uh, sublimate and then melt to go out that hole and out the drain in the back so that worked out well now we're going to fill the trays just wiping them down with a washcloth so that they're clean and then I'm cracking them into this bowl because I don't want to get any shells in the bigger container so I put them in one at a time We have 10 ducks. They're all laying one egg every day right now, but they don't lay year round. Like, even if you put lights on them, they don't lay year round. So, what, right now, where we're getting a lot of eggs, like more than we can use as they come, we are um, preserving them so we'll have them for the rest of the year. Look at this one, it's huge. It's like two chicken eggs. See, this is a normal duck eggs, and it's just a little bigger. This one's like huge. Might be double yolk. Um, nope, it's just really big. Now we are scrambling the eggs to put them into the bowl with the other eggs. And then we're going to freeze dry them. We have to scramble them so that they'll be like evenly yolk to white ratio. Because it's going to come out like a powder and you want to be able to take a scoop of powder and have the right yolk to white ratio. Um, for any given scoop. I'm going to pour it in here. That should be, that is um, 70 duck eggs in this bowl. When you're doing anything liquid, uh, it's good to put the trays in first. So we're going to load up the trays and then 
spoon in all of the wet ingredients, which in this case is about 80 duck eggs. I think we have 79 in here to start with. We're going to we're going to fill this up and see how many we have and how much it fills it up because we've never done this before with eggs. We don't know how many it will hold. All done 25 minutes 25 hours and nine minutes and it says our eggs are done so we're going to check it so the first thing we need to do is open up the vent which will release the vacuum which is mostly already released because it's finished a little bit ago open up Whew. we had some egg explosion That's weird. Mount Saint egg Or is that Mount St. Duck Egg? No. So, we've got a few of these like that, but if you can see in here, you've got all the water that was uh, part of the eggs is now in the form of ice on the inside of the chamber. And after we let this melt, it'll drain into a bucket down below, leaving us with the solids of our eggs. Oh my, there it goes. I'm just not sure what that's about. Crazy, huh? This looks more like what everybody says it should look like. Yeah. And the others are pretty much just fine. This one's a, got a few things, but... It seems completely dry. Um, just add water. We'll leave those in there while we deal with these. Get them into jars. So we're going to put these, the egg powder, into pint jars rather than the mylar bags because it'll be easier to pull out a couple tablespoons at a time. you open a jar to pull the food out the more times you're introducing oxygen and air so putting it into smaller quantities is ideal okay so I have a lot of helpers here today but hopefully you'll be able to hear me Teddy what are you doing that's a hard-boiled egg Ah. Um, all right, so on the left here we have our Mommy, uh, freeze-dried duck egg. Ah. And that's one egg, that. actually. It's two tablespoons. And we haven't added the water yet. And on the right we have a chicken egg on the left of the right. And on the right of the right we have a duck egg. Which you can see the difference in the yolk size and it looks like the uh, white is actually a little bit different color. The white on the duck egg is usually significantly bigger in comparison to the yolk. Um, anyway, duck egg, chicken egg, egg. Whoa! I'm going to get my water and then we will reconstitute the freeze dried egg. Water in here. This is pretty hot water, but not like crazy. Chunks in it that aren't ready yet, so we're gonna leave it. 
in Mommy, the water for that. a minute. And go stir our fresh eggs. We have two eggs in this bowl and only one in that bowl because we have to eat breakfast. Okay, so I've got our freeze-dried egg over here that seems completely normal, just a little overcooked. And our regular eggs Mommy, over here. Egg. Yep, and Teddy wants to eat them, so I'm going to give him some. Egg. We're going to seal these jars with our food saver mason jar attachment. You put the lid on there, which these are all used lids because lid shortage, 2020. Um, and we wouldn't be doing this if we were wanting them to last for 20 years or whatever, but we're going to eat all this in the next year. So, in theory, this is, yeah, it's all sealed now. This is about eight duck eggs. This is the finished product. It's sealed up so it'll last for like pretty much ever as long as you don't open it. 